everyone. I am Crystal Joy and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am an actress, writer, and founder of Blue Room Productions. I post vlogs, behind the scenes commentary on my projects and my films. But before this video is over, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the bell button to stay up to date. So in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. I want to ask a very layered question. This question is for African Americans and Africans across the diaspora and continent. 2020 really opened up the eyes of the world to black life in the States, especially with the heavy movement of the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, this question is derived from many different places. It's inspired by conversations with my friends, as well as, you know, various comments that I've heard from locals when I was on the continent, and also comments that I read in my comment section here on YouTube. When I watched what was happening in the news, I saw a domino effect of other organizations and just people rising up and just talking about their experiences being a black person or experiencing police brutality. When I look at NSARS in Nigeria and I see or just read and watch because social media has provided a window, when I see these things and read about the NSARS movement and the police brutality that they receive from people that look just like them. And then you see in South Africa, there is a lot of violence against women. And I think of the Me Too movement here in the US. And I heard a lot of interesting things. And even besides the Me Too movement, there are many similarities between the apartheid and the civil rights movement. I see many ways to connect. And then I look at what's happening in Ghana, where the LGBTQIA plus community, they're being attacked. That is considered a hate crime. From what I read, they're forced to live in isolation and they are living in constant fear of being attacked in public. I think this is a great time to make that connection. I just see ways in which we are more alike than we are unlike. So how can we, as Africans and African Americans across the diaspora and continent, build bridges between one another? How can we spark conversations? I feel that African Americans and Africans can come to an understanding, even through misunderstandings. So tell me your thoughts your questions and your opinions on how we defer, how we can build, and how we are the same. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Please do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell button. Leave your comments below. I can't wait to read them, and I will see you all next week. Thank you, Africa, because, because that's the constituency for which we got noticed in the first place. And the message from Berna, I believe, would be that every black person should please remember that you were Africans before you became anything else. The encore's world.